As strange as it seemed, home plate was the place to cross when the Kansas City Chiefs rolled into Oakland's combination baseball-football stadium last week. Unfortunately for the Chiefs, it was the powerful Raiders who would do most of the plate crossing on this day. Ken Stabler and Fred Belitnikoff teamed up early on a 46-yard pass and go. And from there, the silver and black went. Stabler to rookie tight end Dave Casper resulted in a juggling touchdown of the typical Oakland miracle type. On defense, the Raiders went unmolested as 58 Monty Johnson swooped in as an agent of harassment all afternoon. The Chiefs' five and six man front challenged Stabler to pass, and Kenny consistently met the dare. This time on a thread the needle catch by number 49, Mike Ciani, who was a bit shaken up, but otherwise all right. Throughout the day, Raider ball hawks were in full flight, and this time number 26, Skip Thomas, pulled the ball down. Thomas, who had two steals for the day, drives a white Corvette with his nickname Dr. Death painted on the side. And last week, the doctor called on the Chiefs. One of his interceptions set up Pete Banizak's 20-yard scoring run, and the Raiders led 20 to nothing. Repeat shows that although Banizak went right up the middle, he was virtually unscathed in his romp. Finally, the Chiefs got on the board when number 99, Wilbur Young, batted down a pass, caught it, and loped 52 yards to the end zone. Kansas City's slim hopes were short-lived, however, as potent Raider pressure triggered a faulty release by Mike Livingston, number 10, and Monty Johnson came up with a theft. Ken Staber and Dave Casper executed the finishing touch to make it a 27-7 Raider rampage and add a little more sparkle to the city of Oakland which now boasts first place football and baseball teams, as well as cheerleaders pretty enough to make it to the pages of Playboy magazine. Ah, to be in Oakland this fall.